In this video, we show the steps to bring your FreeSky access transmitter up to date, allowing it to talk with the Archer access receivers. By default, the transmitters are set up to talk with an older version of access and existing D16 based receivers. An important thing to note, this is different from your OpenTX version. OpenTX is the operating system of your radio. We will be updating the ISRM firmware, which is the communication between your receiver and transmitter. These must be compatible to successfully bind. You'll need your radio, a micro SD card smaller than 32 gigabytes, and a computer. To tell if you need to change or update your radio's firmware, you will need to navigate to the radio setup to view your current ISRM version. While selected on your model, hold the menu button until the radio setup menu appears. Page over to the screen named version. Here you will be able to see your radio's current ISRM version by selecting module slash RF version. As you can see here, this radio is currently on 1.13 FCC firmware. Power down your radio and remove the micro SD card. Insert it into your computer. We'll start by getting the necessary firmware from FreeSky's website. Click on transmitters, select your model, and then click on the downloads tab. This may take a minute. Now select firmware, ISRM RF module. You'll now see all the available firmware versions. We're currently on 1.13 and we'll be updating to the newest available version. Click download to download the file and drag it onto your desktop. Double clicking on the zip file will unzip it, allowing us to copy the file we need. Upon opening the file, you'll see a file ending with .freesky. We're now going to open our SD card and find the firmware folder. We can now drag and drop the .freesky file into our SD card's firmware folder. It is very important to properly eject your SD card. Now install the SD card into the radio. We'll start by getting the necessary firmware from FreeSky's website. Click on Transmitters, select your model, and then click on the Downloads tab. This may take a minute. Click Download to download the file and drag it onto your desktop. You can then click on the file to view the contents without unzipping. Click on the sole file available, then copy the .freesky file and paste it into the firmware folder on your SD card. It is very important to properly eject your SD card. Now install the SD card into the radio. Long press menu to enter the radio setup and hit page once to scroll over to the SD card. Scroll down and select the firmware folder. Now scroll down to the .freesky file we downloaded and click on it. A page will pop up, select Flash Internal Module. Your radio will now flash its internal ISRM board. As you can now see, our ISRM has now been updated to 2.1.6. You can now bind to the latest Archer series receivers. If you need help binding, check out this other video we have detailing the process of registering and binding your Archer series receivers. Thank you for watching and happy flying.